I'm Jonathan McCall. It has been nearly three months since someone shot and killed 30-year-old David Denohian after the, the day after Thanksgiving as he walked his dog near 12th Street in Maryland. Tonight, investigators hoping this new video will lead them to his killer. Tw Team 12's Jade Cunningham just spoke with his father and joins us now with more details on how he's feeling after seeing that video. Jade. Yeah, good evening. You know, this has been an extremely difficult time for this family, and now seeing this new video, they are feeling all sorts of emotion. I've seen it once, and, um, you know, I'll probably see it again, but, you know, when you see somebody just come out of nowhere and you see my son just walking his dog, he's not, not aware of anything uh, going to happen, and to see someone come and you know, basically shoot the lights out of your son's eyes are, it's tough, very difficult. And it is tough video to watch. Now in the surveillance video released by Phoenix police, you see two different angles of the shooting. Both show David walking his dog. You then see a man running past him then turn around to face David and point a gun. And that's where the video freezes. Again, this happened the day after Thanksgiving, November 25th, just before 6.15 p.m. The family is asking for help with any information and with anyone with information to come forward so they can feel just a little bit of peace. They are also calling for change. I think the city of Phoenix should be tired by now. Every night, multiple, and I know it happens in major cities across the nation, but at some point in time, we need to be fed up with this criminal activity that's out there. And whatever needs to be done needs to be done because the streets of Phoenix aren't safe. And that's disturbing. It really is. Well, David's dad, Frank, also tells me he visits his son at the cemetery about three to four days a week, and he prays for the day the gunman will be found. Now, if you have any information in this case, you're encouraged to call Silent Witness, 480 Witness, and of course, you can remain anonymous. And we do know there's a reward now available. Jade, thanks so much for following that story and speaking with the family tonight. And